So we have a default created application with a main page, a create page, and an edit page. And if you actually run the application, the flow that is created by the quick start um, dialog um, is you start with the main page, which is what you're seeing over here. Okay, and then you can create a travel request. So, for example, say that uh, Mike wants to go to the U.S. from India and you click save. This takes you into the main page again and then you can choose the record and go and edit the record, right? And when you go to edit you get the information about this specific record and you can add a bunch of additional information, okay? So for example price, okay, and approval and it would show up here. So that, that's the basic flow. Now what if you want to change it? What if you want to create a situation where after you insert the basic details and you click save, you don't go back into the main page, but rather you continue to the edit page. So let's go over and modify this. So we'll start of course from the create page and we'll, we'll look at the save button. Okay, so click and select the save button and if you look at the events, this is the event for the save button. So this is again logic that was created by the quick start and what it does here is it basically calls up the endpoint for creating um, in our case a travel request and then if this is succeeding we file a notification and we navigate back to the page we came from. So we want to actually inject here a step where we instead of navigating back we're going to go to the um, edit page. Okay, So we can remove that step over here and instead we're going to pick up a navigate in here and we would want to go to the edit page right? now here comes the thing about the edit page needs a parameter okay it needs to know which record are we going to edit and this ID that we need to pass here okay is actually something that is returned from this call okay so remember this call is called the create travel request okay and we're going to use a value from it to map as the parameter here okay so this is the parameter and again in our uh, create travel request okay we have a body and one of the things that we're returning we're basically returning the whole record that was created is the id so we can pick up the id and just map it over here click save okay and this will take care of that part and the next thing that uh, you would notice is that once you go into the edit page so let's go back into our navigation okay so now you have a scenario where main page goes to create create goes to edit once you go to the edit page and um, when you click save over there it's also hooked up to go to the previous screen so let's go over to the edit page and we look at the save button again um, and the event for the save button at the end of it okay, is calling an action chain that goes back so again we can replace this one okay, um, to say instead of going back which would take us in some cases to the create page we want to go to the main page so just remove this one bring in a navigate, select, and then go to the main page. All right, so now we're ready to run the new version of our application. All right, we got the create, so we're going to create a new travel request. Let's say that Shai wants to travel to the US from uh, Great Britain and then we click save. This creates the record, gets back an ID, you can see the ID over here, number two, okay, with the basic uh, details, and then I can go over and update the rest of the details. Then when I click, sorry, then when I click save, it would navigate back to the main page and I would see the details of my record. I can now still go, click on this record, and go to edit the details in this page, change something, and click save to go back, in this case, to the main page. And that's how you change the flow and how you get back a response from a REST service and use it in your page.